Hello everyone, Pete Hardy here at Real today testing the Nash Pivot. So Nash Pivot is a new kite for Nash this year. Big thing obviously let's talk about to start with is the name. So why is it called the Pivot? Simple reason really, when it turns, it pivots and it doesn't create power. Now there are the old days of the sea kite lovers where people said, oh we want massive power through the turns. The reality is, is that for you know, a lot of people and a lot of riders around the world, you don't really want your kite to generate that much power through the turn. You're just done going one way, you want to spin it around and go back the other way. Or you're riding a wave and you want to do a bottom turn and spin the kite back, really just to keep it in the air and keep moving. So um, if that's you, which is it's me, and, and I think probably a lot of people out there, then this kite is going to do that because as it turns, it doesn't create the power, it just goes hoof back. And that's super nice to ride, you know, and that makes it really fun. Um, some other things I really like about this kite is that uh, no matter how much depower I pull on here or where the bar is, I get pretty much the same amount of control, the same responsiveness in the bar, which is, you know, it's really nice because a lot of times it just gives you that extra bit of wind range. I know I can pull on a foot of depower and I'll still be able to control and fly the kite like it's fully powered up to the hilt here. That's really nice. Uh, one thing I did find today was um, in my efforts to deliberately crash it and put it in a, in a situation which I kind of know is always going to mess up a kite. I did mess it up. Um, just riding straight at the kite, rode straight through it, rolled it, had a little bit of a funny time. Um, was able to pull the release, reset myself, so not, not a big deal on that one. But uh, I think probably most kites would have done that. And uh, so that's, that's one of the things I did find that I had some difficulty with. Other than that, overall, very big fan of this kite. I'd say across the board of everything, the biggest thing I love was the boosting. Um, a lot of kites rip you off the water, and that's really fun. It, you know, it gives you that buzz. A lot of kites have tons of hang time. Um, and that's fun too, but a lot of those kites that do those things also drop you, and that's not fun. Um, not if you like your knees and your ankles. Uh, this kite doesn't. It's the biggest thing I noticed is coming down from the jumps, it just catches you all the way into landing. You don't have to dive it heavily, it just floats you down really gently. It's, uh, it's like one of those airline pilots that knows, knows what he's doing. Um, so, big fan of that, and that's probably why I would get this kite. Um, three strut, pretty basic platform, a lot of people have been using this. I uh, was supposed to sit in the middle of Nash's range, brand new kite. I think it's going to be really, really popular with a lot of people. It is worth mentioning that this kite is like, uh, it's like when you buy your computer and you click every expensive box there is because you want every single little thing. That's what you get. So you can see, you'll be able to see if you get your hands on this kite, the detail. You know, they have split strut this year. They have tons of detail on all the valves. Everything feels really high end and really luxury. And, you know, that's, it's nice when a lot of people are cutting costs and going the other way. Nash are just ramping it up and putting everything they can into it. So, huge fan. Definitely demo one of these if you can. Uh, this is the Nash Pivot. And you can find out more at realwatersports.com. And, and we will see you on the water.